going live. Um, so in this in this phase of the show, my co-hosts hate this part, but I typically try to ask uh, you know our guests if they have any kind of vocal practices that they like to to do prior you know to any you know song performances or speaking. Uh, you know, like for instance, how now, Brown Cow, unique New York. Um. Do you have any uh, vocal new, practices? New, new, no, but it's probably smart to do, right? Um, what do we normally say? It's only my second podcast. Oh, yeah? All right. Excellent. Excellent. Some people I know, it's usually like, this is my first podcast. But no, I've done one before. It was a podcast where we talk about podcasts. Like, what podcasts do you like? Interesting. Um, that was pretty easy, but it was only 12 minutes. Okay. Well, we just chit-chat, so it's pretty pretty chill here, so... All right, well... Oh, yeah, it's not like I don't know you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But our audience doesn't. So, welcome back, shooters, for a, another just chill, sleepy Sunday edition of the Shooting Straight Handball Podcast with Just JD. Uh, Max is currently driving back from the Indians game, and uh, Joey is studying for finals for law school. So, uh, we'll be doing this one solo. But I am joined by a special guest who I know fairly well, uh, Mr. Dustin Bennett. Dustin, how are we doing this evening? Doing good. I'm sitting in the car, but I'm doing good. How are you? You don't live in the car, so that's the that's the best part about that. So, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. With the delay there. Wait. What did you say? I asked if you you lived in the car. Then it would we might oh, have a different questions. So. No, I don't. I don't live in the car. Right. Uh, Excellent. There's a CNC router going on inside, so uh, I'm outside of an art studio. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell uh, our guests a little bit about yourself before we get into some topics here? And I'm sure we'll have plenty of questions from the chat when uh, people start tuning in. Oh. Okay. Uh, first, am I just to see the screen like Zoom, just me and you, or was I supposed to see what we were seeing before? Oh, I guess. Um, it doesn't matter. I just wondered. No, this poor, poor uh, document or heads up play for me. Uh, so if you want to watch the stream live, you got to go to Twitch. So otherwise. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I could start. Um, my name's Dustin. Um, my grandpa is JD's uncle. So that would make us, you can figure that out. Yeah, I but, don't know uh, that I've ever gotten the straight answer on that, whether it's second cousins or first cousins once removed. So, it, I, Oh, yeah, I don't know, because my cousins, because your mom is my great aunt. So right. you would got to be like, you're not my great cousins. So maybe that's what it means, once removed. Um, who knows? Not why so. we're here. But... Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, I'm Dustin, artist name is Duju, and JD wrote me as a uh, graphic designer, I think, in the bio, but uh, I'm just an all-around artist, I'd say, painting, ceramics, drawing, uh, I just have a pretty uh, visual imagination, uh, I always see in, like, cartoon characters, so uh, I draw cartoons, I draw colorful, symmetry, psychedelic, uh, nature-esque images a lot and then uh i want to try and be good at all art forms you know realism and uh like pottery painting versus drawing glass blowing um anything that's art really it's quite the spectrum and sorry for selling you short i just know that that's one no. that you've been very adamant i didn't mean, about, to, to, I didn't so. mean to toot my own horn no it's good that's what we're here to do is i uh I tell uh, clients, you know, because people have businesses and, you know, they need logos. So I got to make some money, too. Um, so I tell instead of just doing all my fun work myself. So I uh, I, and I try to uh, make cool logos for people. Um, and yeah. speaking and of cool I logos, in Ohio. Uh, Dustin yeah, is the one that cool made, made the logo for our show here. So, um I frequently ask people if they know the athlete that is silhouetted that I'll yeah. give them $5. I was going to ask that. I was going to ask if uh, you ever do that, like a trivia for whoever can guess who I cut out. I do it every show, and not a single person has ever called in live to tell me who it is. I will Venmo <laughs> you $5 if you can guess. So, 
Okay. Um, no one has ever done it. So you cannot because you know the answer. But uh, I think everyone else. Oh, I don't is... know his name. Oh, but, true, yeah, true, I true. The fo- I have the you photo, have the photo. In, in my hard drive. So you yeah. could do some, uh, you know, was that Anyone Google? Wants it, let me know. What's the backwards Google image search? You know, reverse Google image search it. Oh yeah, I've been I've been doing that a lot. Just with uh, like people will post conspiracy videos on or pictures online. So then I try and find like the original source of them. Uh, reverse image search is awesome. Nice, 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 nice. Um, yeah. But yeah, so you said you've been doing a lot of you know just logo work for people just from the from the side hustle basically, but from your main hustle what would you say uh you spent a lot of your time with um handcrafting kombucha that's what i do spend most of my time with right now but i'm going to say that i spend artistically most of my time drawing on my ipad um just you know i i've always hated the idea of uh, i like the idea of having a blank sheet of paper and your pencil and your pen and it could be a math problem. It could be a rainbow, whatever. The page is imaginary, the page thing, and it's up to fit. So um, I doodled a lot in class and would just draw uh, constantly on mm, pieces of paper in class. But then I got my iPad and my iPad uh, waste of paper because every time you mess up, you can just two finger tap and go back and. Uh, fix your errors and hide your layers and um yeah most of the time i'd say if i'm working on art i'm working on my ipad drawing on procreate or doing client work for people and then i like to um draw paint on like found objects so i've been i have this kick of finding gnomes that are either at like dollar stores or um like yard sales and then i'll buy them and then i'll spray paint them white or clean make them all white and then i'll just uh what i say is i paint them how they want to be painted so i give them like rainbow beards or make them wear cooler clothes than just like the normal gnome stereotype-esque clothing nice. that they give them i kind of I mean, like, they still got a hat on this is a this is a good topic i you know i'm always looking for like unique mascots and i feel like i don't know of any sports franchise that's the gnomes so well jd uh and i was in high school we when i played rugby for the westerville worms Mm -hmm. uh our mascot like the draw the image was a worm uh, like a worm monster carrying a rugby ball but our mascot was a gnome that i guess people took from a doorstep one time back in like 1996 or 7 and uh spray painted it painted it all up white it's this big gnome it's been broken multiple times it's probably about like three feet tall two and a half a feet tall gnome. but yeah and they like they like have broken it from like throwing it around and just being hooligans and uh fixed it together with like concrete and and so now it weighs a lot more and uh i don't know where that is currently i don't know where that presides that rugby team has been done for a while so uh me with these little baby gnomes i guess it's just always been in my blood since like high school to uh, yeah. that sort of memory that's a wild story honestly yeah. like what, and, a, uh, what a tie back yeah yeah i am the one that had the gnome as the mascot so yeah. okay there, now you know now i know yeah. it's sweet all right because i was yeah, thinking yeah. uh yeah. We're kind of in the process of, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like uh, the Dublin Drunks franchise um, that we have, and they're looking to, uh, you know, many of Mm -hmm. the the players have moved to the Grove City area. Um, So we're looking at maybe changing the name to Grove City, um, maybe call it the Grove City Gnomes. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Grove City Giants. You know, you don't have to just stick with gnomes. It's uh, but, but Giants is like yeah, a pretty yeah, like plenty. standard. You know, what I mean, like that. We're we're trying to get like true off the beat like path. New York Giants. Yeah, yeah. right. Gnomes. Uh, true. I like that. Well, if they uh, want to be the gnomes, I'll I'll make their logo for them. We'll need to. We'll actually need to have them a gnome at the games. Can you imagine every game you go to? There's a little gnome sitting in chair number one. You well. Know? Right the like I line. said, I've been making pottery, or I could take one. I could find one of these custom ones and paint it to the uh, Grove City gnome. However, he asked to be uh, painted. 
All right, I, I like this. Uh, Martin uh, in the chat saying Grove City Goliath. That's also uh, not a bad bad take. Like it's like the it's like the gladiators, you know, giants, yeah. gladiators, Goliaths. It's like your standard NFL style. street, like create your own team name kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, JD and I used to play NFL Street uh, all time growing up on the GameCube. Yes, sir. Uh, NFL Street Volume One. Donovan McNabb. It was, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I took my skills to college, and uh, you know, people, you know, always say, "Oh yeah, you know, you're you're pretty you're pretty good or whatever," and then somebody else is like, "Oh, I'll beat you," and then we would have just all out brawls, me and my buddy, and he played strictly on PS2, so different console, and I would just go uh-huh. and just take it to him. So he had his bachelor party at our house here, and we had a uh, <laughs> NFL Street tournament. And it was he and I. Oh, nice. We played each other twice, and I beat him both times. So I'd say I take the, the cake on in the that. PS2. On the PS2, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Nice. Good. Yeah, JD and I have played a lot of video games growing up in the day. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And then still try to, you know, I'm still trying to find time now. There's, uh, as you might be shocked to believe, there is a handball video game. So I try to stream that. Oh. Um, oh, cool. when I can, but it's pretty, pretty bad. Oh, Martin suggests the Grove <laughs> City yeah, Guts. The... I like that. Grove City Guts. That's, guts. you just have a, like a big beer huh. gut guy. I mean, it's like, it's homage to, um, the drunks, either right. because of right. beer gut guy or like you, you throw your gut, you throw your guts up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. All yeah. Right. I'll, I'll talk with the uh, administrative team, like, and we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah, I like the uh, chat and the and the chat. That's cool. Yeah, we tried a uh, little live dialogue. Yeah, it, it makes it interesting. It, it's kind of weird, probably, for people that go back and listen to this on Spotify or whatever or YouTube. But uh, you got to be in the moment. So. No, it's not too bad because you're reading what the questions are. Yeah. I listen to a lot of podcasts, and they have chats that are going on, and. Uh, no, I think it's engaging. You're like, oh, interesting. That relates to my life, even though that was like recorded like uh, three months ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> um, I'm not what, bold statement going against the Oscars. Oh, you're saying by me recording right now? Do people watch the Oscars? I don't. I don't know that I've ever watched the Oscars. Uh, so. Oh. Oscars are on. This is the time we we chose. We yeah, uh, I, we, I didn't, we both have schedules, right? Yeah, I, I did not know the Oscars were on. Um, never watched the Oscars. I don't think I plan to. But thank you, Martin, for letting us know that we might have lower numbers due to that. So we'll see. Um, I always uh, I always whenever it comes up, Oscars and that's for Broadway, but I never. Or what the odds are, movies or TV or music. Yeah, I don't watch any of them. It's like, I feel like when I was a kid, those were every week. There was like the Academy Awards, the CMAs, the yeah. Billboard Hot 100 or whatever. It's like, is there an award and then the for Golden every single Glo- thing? And, Go- yeah, Golden Globes. What is right. that? You know, the Tonys. It's, I mean, isn't that? I think Golden Globes is the Oscars. If the Oscars is the one that gives you like the gold figurine, you know, like the yes, dude yes. or like androgynous. Do you know uh, that it was that, is that named after person? a guy named Oscar? Like, what's the you know? I never I never looked up the history behind that. It's Oscar de la Hoya. Oh. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not true. Oh man. No. No, I don't care enough about it. Yeah, we'll just let it die. Sorry, Martin. Well, we're done with the Oscars here. So, um, why don't we talk a little bit about uh, one of the other pictures you had me share um, in our chat or in the on our Instagram post here? Um, you know, you did some work with uh, the brewery company Half Baked, uh, doing some logo design for them. You want to talk about uh, you know how you. How it came about that opportunity and then, you know, how you came up with your design? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, luckily for me, I got to do that design uh, just on my own. And uh, 
it was in a point in my life where I hadn't like created much and uh, I was going through a lot of changes. So I just like, you know, whatever emotional mental state I was in at the time, I can just sit there and I say like, okay, I'm going to invest like just six hours into this thing or like just start on something and and keep working on it till I run out of ideas and then I'll pick it up the next day and just so I worked on this ape drawing for uh I mean I want to say that there's like 75 hours in that in the picture itself but I made it just for fun and uh people really liked it it's called uh, the the picture is uh so people can see it on the images I'm guessing it's got uh like a monkey and then brain is out it's like up on top of his head is like mojo jojo kind of style just no uh no uh aquarium for his brain to sit in and um he's got all these like trippy patterns on his face his face is like dripping and gooing and and then his, there's these fingers that have eyeballs and he's looking at them or the viewer is looking at them uh and it's about uh like this concept called stone date theory where uh, monkeys if this goes off of evolution but just kind of how did humans um, get so far away separated from human from everyone else in the animal kingdom and of course like the typical story is yeah like god did it adam and eve and everything but like in this evolution concept uh oh we lost him Dustin, I think I'm still alive. I think I just lost him. Let me see if uh, if Twitch is still good, then he might just be gone. Let me see. Give it another 10 seconds here. Well, I think it's just Martin right now tuning in. So, as always, Martin, thanks for tuning in here. Oh, I should probably disconnect my... Wi-Fi here. Okay, yep, it is just Martin, and now we, have, now we have lost Dustin. Oh, he's definitely gone. Hopefully he rejoins the, the show here. Um, I'll ask him, Martin, about your, uh, uh, your question. Oh, let me get him to rejoin. Same link. Good old multitask here. If we chit chat long enough, we might be able to get Max back on the show. Um, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Sorry, uh, we didn't have a show last week. I was incapacitated. Uh, been a little bit under the weather. Uh, peeing blood for a week, uh, almost a week now. So we're gonna just say probably don't want to do that um do not recommend uh this is your you know public service announcement to make sure you drink plenty of water each and every day uh, regardless of your health situation i would say 80 ounces of water minimum a day is uh it's good good for your health um they weren't sure if i had kidney stones or not but uh ct scan came back said maybe Maybe I didn't, maybe I did. Going back to the urologist on Tuesday. Um, it's been a little bit of a bumpy ride. Okay, there he is, he's back. And he's gone, and he's back. Excellent. Dustin, can you hear us? We can, he can hear us, but he's connecting audio. So we should be back in business here. And three, two, one. One, good. Can you hear us? Good old technical difficulties return to the Shooting Straight Handball podcast, just like the days of old in the fall times when we would pretty much never have an episode without a problem. So I don't think it's on my end. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna blame him. I don't know if he can hear me, but I'm gonna throw him under the bus. Um. Okay, test, test, test one, two, test three, two, four, test six, seven, eight, test nine, five, three, niner, 17. This is probably great uh, to listen to. So thank you everybody for sticking around this far. 
Um, we're almost through with our uh, technical difficulties, I would say. And then we can move on with the show. Dustin was going to talk about, uh, I think he said stoned ape. So here he is. We can't hear him. He still cannot be heard. Seen and not heard. It's tough times here. But uh, anyways, back to my doctor situation. So, um, yeah, it uh, was pretty painful. Didn't sleep uh, most of the week. Spent two nights. Uh, oh, sorry, Martin. <laughs> Spent two nights in the ER. Um, well, one night and one morning. So two separate times, two, two separate visits. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty bad. Um, not really sure what's going on. This is not the first time this has happened. Um, pretty confident it won't be the last. So, you know, if you have any genetic history of uh, pee and blood, uh, you know, make sure to talk with your doctor about how you can help prevent it. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get him situated here. Um, but, uh, yes, yeah, so that's been my week. Uh, pretty much had a full mental fog. Couldn't really focus on anything because of the pain. Um, but, uh, we're back now and Max is trying to lock in some guests, some female guests for the future, as we discussed last time. Um, I know there was a lot of pushback from Mishi about our lack of female guests. I'm running out of options for me. I uh, have a limited female population that I can pull from. Uh, but I'd be happy. Well, heck, I wonder if nah, Melissa probably can't come on the show. It's probably too risque for her. Dustin, are you back? He's talking. We can't hear him progress maybe not sure what happened here folks we were doing so well and then we weren't oh but it is tough getting old it was just one day i just had one day where i didn't drink enough water and uh you know maybe i overexert myself i don't know would you say playing around a golf and then going to help a buddy move is a uh, Overexertion? I would say no, but oh, I thought I could hear him for a second. <sighs> Bark twice if you're in Milwaukee. Hmm. Is this Wilt Chamberlain? If anybody understands the references, I'll I'll be thrilled. Typically, people don't understand my jokes. Okay. Um. But if we can't get this to work with Dustin, then uh, maybe we'll just have him join back on in uh, maybe half an hour when Max gets uh, back to being available. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll just do that. So we'll get. I'll send him one last uh, hurrah here. We can re re-establish the show maybe in a little bit. So. Uh, He's working on trying to fix it. This is where, you know, having a live, uh, you know, show is tough because people don't understand. This is not, you know, you're in the heat of the moment. You got to know what to click. You got to know what to do. I have definitely fell victim to the lack of knowledge on my end. I'm not a technological person. I do not try to fancy myself as one, but here I am. There's a whole bunch of bars and gizmos and gadgets and doodads. I don't know what the heck I'm clicking half the time, so uh, just trying to get it to figure it out. But I think it works most of the time. I think we do an okay job with the show. So I got a Facebook message from. Oh, that's spam. Somebody got hacked. So it's always funny when you have all the old people on Facebook that get hacked. It's, I don't know what they're doing with their Facebook, but. Um, Okay, well, we got 10 minutes left on a resume counter. Hold on one second, folks. 
Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. How's everybody else doing this evening? I think we got, uh, oh, John's in the chat. So, sorry, John. We're probably going to have to come back in half an hour. Uh, having some technical difficulties here, unless we can get uh, Dustin to get things working again. We were doing pretty well. We were smooth sailing. Hold on. Can't, nope, can't hear you still. That's uh, it's a good try. We made a good run. Well, can't win them all. But uh, we will try again at 8.30. So, folks, why don't you just, uh, I think we'll stop streaming and we'll try to rejoin then, if that sounds good. So we'll catch you all in a little bit. All right. Thanks. Bye.